So, uh, welcome to part two of my mini Velo build. Uh, today we're going to do some painting. I'm not in the centre. I'm not. Does it matter? I don't know. Anyway, um, so uh, if you've missed the first part, go back and watch the other one. It'll be linked below or on the screen somewhere perhaps. Um, but uh, the first one I just kind of talk about what mini Velo is and dismantle the bike and introduce it to it. But at the moment, we've just got a frame uh, that's been primed, so we need to get some paint on it. Uh, from the title, you're probably wondering, like, what's the all about paint pens? So I bought these paint pens, and my plan is to draw on my bike. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so as you know from the last video, I used a sprayed up bike uh, uh, builder's putty, smoothing putty. Uh, which is a high build primer essentially, so it needs sanding down. I used P220 um, to start with. I did go up to a thousand in the end just because I wanted it kind of really silky smooth, so the paint going on smooth. Um, but yeah, you just basically want to get it, get all the, the edge off of it essentially. Um, with a high build primer, it's going to be quite thick, and you kind of want that because it's going to fill any dents and holes, small ones anyway. And um, this is now just to make it nice and smooth so it's a nice shape again. Um, so think more shaping than kind of like getting rid of anything. And there. So once it's nice and smooth and you've got rid of any drips or any kind of like high rough areas and you feel like it's all the same shape, you're ready to paint. I then use some alcohol rub to get rid of all the dust so it's nice and clean, ready for paint. I'm using a Montana spray paint for this. Um, it, it looks like a miles away. It's got a big throw on it because it's designed for coating walls. Um, so, and I did actually realize at this point that I forgot to mask as well. Um, on that note, people often ask me what I do. I basically roll a piece of paper um, to, when it goes to like bottom bracket. So just a little paper in there. You can do the same for the actual seat tube or um, stem depending on where you're painting. And then little Q-tips in any bolt holes is like really easy, it takes me seconds, um, and it's perfectly masked. Um, people say like using recycled paper, I often find if it's used paper, it's gonna be crumpled, um, so a clean sheet is better, but if you've got a decent clean recycled sheet, then that's awesome too, but I do try and reuse the sheets as often as I can. And yes, I did strap a GoPro to the can. It's probably one of my best stupid ideas yet. Okay, on to the drawing. Um, so I started with a pencil just because I figured if I just go straight on with a pen, I'm just going to mess up lots of times. I mean, I did mess up lots of times anyway, but like this was at least trying to help that process a little bit. Um, and then once I had my kind of guidelines, I just went to town with the actual pens. Um, they, they, I needed a piece of paper nearby because like it was picking up some of the silver paint from the frame. Uh, so I had to keep like scribbling to keep the nip, nip kind of clean, which I think is probably a pretty reasonably normal thing to have to keep doing. Um, but uh, And then once I kind of had the design down, uh, whether it was lettering or the image or whatever, I then went around Blah, blah, blah. I then went round with black uh, to kind of highlight it and make it stand out a little bit more. Uh, here's a little spaceship I did. And um, yeah, just kind of going around the edge made it pop a little bit more, I think. It was actually way harder than I thought it'd be on the frame kind of drawing around the curved surface. I mean, saying that out loud, I'm like, well, of course it's hard to draw around a cur curved sur surface. God, get your words out, Craig. Uh, my point is, a circle, for example, is nearly impossible to draw on a curved surface. It just kept kind of ending up being oval or somewhat weird or similar, <laughs> I don't know. It was just difficult. Um, but uh, I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. Uh, I wanted to kind of do some nice kind of like glamour shots outside um, but uh, it's been raining loads uh, so here's a few shots of inside instead.
but I'm not quite done yet. I still have a lot more that I want to fit on there. It's just taking me a hell of a long time to do it. Um, so I'm just going to sit on the sofa for the next couple of days and do some filler work and um, add a few more designs to it maybe. And then uh, as soon as I get a sunny day again, I can lacquer it and it'll be ready to build, hopefully for next week. But there is one more thing. Uh, I also cleaned the wheels this week and put some nice new tires on there, which you were pretty excited about on my Instagram. Uh, so I thought I'd share that in this video too. The wheels are pretty crusty. Uh, the disc brakes in particular have got quite a lot of rust on them. I'm gonna try and clean them. Uh, and uh, there's also like these little stickers knocking about that like, they look crap. So I'm gonna get rid of those. Oh, and then these bloody reflectors. We'll get rid of those. Yeah, get out of here, reflectors. But for the actual wheels themselves, they, like I said, they weren't bad. There wasn't any kind of real rust on them. They just needed a real good cleaning. Uh, for the stickers, I used kind of like some um, Goo Gone to kind of get rid of the residue from the paper. But it mainly came off of the water, to be honest. And the next thing was uh, kind of cleaning the hub as well, just using a cloth, stick it in the spokes, give it a little twist, and it looks good. Uh, so tires. Uh, I got some mini bonkers. I'm not going to call them Billy Bonkers anymore. These ones are my mini bonkers. Uh, make sure you line up the uh, valve because otherwise you're not cool. And then, uh, oh, need some air. And some air. They're pretty sweet. And that's that. That's the end of another video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And um, I hope you enjoyed what you watched. Uh, next week, I am planning on doing uh, the build for this bike. So hopefully, as long as I get a couple of days of sunshine, I can lacquer it and um, the build of next week. But if you can't wait until next week, why don't you watch this video here? And um, why don't you comment below on this one and like it and maybe subscribe so uh, you can stay friends with me.